Okay, so this session is uh, Physics 2.122 or General Physics 2, week number one. This is all about electric charge and electric force. Okay, so un to understand more the terms, no, we have these learning objectives for us to guide ko ang sang atong kung ano ang discuss no. Okay, so first is to so at the end of the lesson, the learners will be able to describe the evidence of electric forces, electric charges, and then define elect what is electric charge, you know, statement of Coulomb's law and conservation of charge. We have to classify materials according to its ability to the flow of charge. Recognize three ways of charging an object. And apply Coulomb's law in or in in worded problems. So limited worded problem only. Okay, so let us review the concept of atom and ion to understand more about this topic. Atoms are the building blocks of all materials, no matter how simple or complicated the material is. And then ang atom, no? Bil building blocks. So, recording your chemistry, atom consists of three subatomic particles. What are those? The electron, negatively charged, the proton, positively charged, and the neutrons, neutral, or zero charge. Okay. So, the, the atomic structure is analogous to a solar system. For in a solar system, the center is the sun, revolving around the center, the sun, are the number of planets similar to our atom, you know, so atomic structure. The central part of the atom, of an atom, is the nucleus, which consists of protons and neutrons. Protons ha having a positive charge and neutron zero charge, or neutron. And orbiting, revolving around the nucleus, are the number of electrons in different sub-levels, or in different energy levels. So, yan, ang uh, atomic structure. Okay, you take note that when an atom is neutral, the number of protons must be equal to the number of electrons. Sabihin neutral, meaning walang excess sa positive or negative charge. Okay. An atom of any element consists of all small, positively charged as nucleus with a number of electrons some distance away. The nucleus is composed of ne neutrons and protons. The atoms that hold them together as solid or liquid are electrical in origin. So, electrical in origin. There is a force of interaction. Okay, so what is an ion? By the way, kung, uh, if we have an atom, sujum atom, makikita niyo sa symbol na Na. Kasi the, the symbol of sujum is Na. Uh, at saka kung may chlorine atom tayo, the symbol for the chlorine atom is Cl. Na? But when we have a chlorine ion, makikita niyo na Cl added pa yan ng charge sa upper right corner ng symbol. And kung meron tayong sujum ion, makita nyo yung symbol ng sujum, Na, added with a plus sign at the upper right uh, corner ng symbol. So, yan ang kaibahan. Pag neutral ang atom, symbol lang talaga ng atom. Pag the atom uh, Magi, pag ang atom maging ion, may makita na kayong charge, positive or negative. So, it depends sa atom. Okay. So, under certain circumstances, an atom may lose one or more electrons. So, balik tayo sa chemistry, we have the elements, may mga uh, group of elements, particularly metals, that would allow, uh, that would donate electrons, no? So, losing of electron and process. So, 
Heta should become a positive ion. Like sodium ion. Where it may gain one or more electrons and become a negative ion. So usually, yung mga electron receivers are the non-metals. No? Like chlorine. So kung ano ang na-receive ni chlorine from sodium, magiging negative ion ang chlorine. So many solid consists of positive and negative ions rather than of atoms or molecules. So let us analyze in our figure. Figure. Okay, we have uh, two neutral atoms. Neutral meaning balance, balance yung positive at saka negative charges similar to this second atom, neutral atom. So once na mag-transfer itong uh, one electron to the second atom, initially neutral, so makunan ito ng negative charge, mag-excess na yung protons. So that would become positive ion due to excess of protons. So there is a transfer of one electron, naging positive ion ang first neutral atom. Ito naman, while receiving the, the transfer of electron, initially uh, neutral, balance, so since electron is negative, negatively charged, magiging negative ion naman ang second neutral atom. Okay, that uh, was true gain of electrons. Okay. So, we have positive charge means having more protons than electrons. Pag positively charged, sobra ang positive uh, subatomic particle, the proton. Pag negative charge naman, sobra ang electrons than protons. So, the process of losing or gaining of electrons is called ionization. Okay, so we have the evidence of electric charge. Okay, so the discovery of electricity is generally credited to the Greeks and is thought to have occurred around 2,500 years ago. Approximately the era in which Aristotle lived. No? So the Greeks observed electric charges and forces between them in a variety of situations. Many of their observations made use of many of, of material called amber. So amber, this is a plastic-like substance formed by allowing the sap from certain trees to dry and harden. The Greeks found that after amber is rubbed with a piece of animal fur, the amber can attract small pieces of dust. The same effect can be demonstrated with a piece of plastic and small bits of paper. This experiment is quite striking because neither the plastic rod ordinarily attracts paper. Somehow, the process of rubbing the two together creates an attractive force. Moreover, this even when the amber and the paper are not in contact and attractive force even if the plastic rod and paper vacuum. Okay, so the Greek word for amber is electron, is the origin of the terms electricity and electron. Electron. The Greeks did not discover the electron even though notion of small carrying charged particle was hypothesized by a number of early philosophers and scientists. There was no clear experimental demonstration of the existence of electron until the late 1880s. The discovery ng mga subatomic particles. Okay, so let us define what is electric charge. So electric charge, electric charge is like mass, no? Like mass, uh, this is a basic property of matter carried by some elementary particles that governs how the particles are affected by an electric field or magnetic field. So, so there are two kinds. No? First, 
Yes, positive charge carried by protons. Or it is an objects with more protons than electrons. And we have a constant for charge of proton to be 1.6, positive 1.6 to negative 19 Coulomb. Mass of proton is 1.672 times 10 to negative 27 kilogram. Next is negative charge. This is carried by electrons. Or it is an object with more electrons than proton. Okay, for the constants, charge of electron is negative 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 Coulomb. Take note na the same magnitude as charge of proton but uh, different opposite charge. Mass of electron, on the other hand, is 9.11 to the power of negative 31 kilograms. So if you take note of that constant, maybe uh, you can use that in the variety of computations if uh, given, no? if needed. So the letter symbol for charge is capital Q, denoting uh, a net charge or total charge or small q's for, uh, for point charges. The unit of charge is column capital C. Usually, uh, charge is expressed in microcoulomb. For microcoulomb, mu C is equivalent to 1 times 10 to negative 6 column. And nanocoulomb or NC is equivalent to 1 times 10 to negative 9 column. And you take note that all charges in nature occur in multiples of plus and minus 1.6 times 10 to negative 19. That would be the charge of proton and charge of electron. Okay. So next is principle of conservation of charge. Charge is conserved. So meaning the total charge on an object is the sum of all individual charges, the protons and electrons carried by the object. So the, the statement for principle of conservation of charge, it states that the net electric charge is an in an isolated system, always remains constant. Net meaning total. So net means total positive charge minus total negative charge, and it could be positive, negative, or zero, itong net charge. So when matter is created from energy, equal amount of positive and negative charge always come into being. And when matter is converted to energy, equal amount of positive and negative charges, charge disappear. Okay, so in the uh, law of conservation of charge, Charge is not created, no? Because charge can move from one place, from place to place, from one object to another, but the total charge of the universe does not change. Yan ang conservation of charge. Okay, so next, what is an electric force? So an electric force is... Uh, this force is exerted by two charged objects. A uh, force of interaction between two charges is electric force. So we have if uh, two unlike charges, that is positive and positive, positive and positive, or unlike, sorry, two unlike, positive and negative, will exert a force that attract each other. So the arrows indicates that there is attraction, either arrow, okay. If positive and positive, negative or neg negative and negative, two like charges will exert repelling forces on each other. Repel, so kita niyo in our uh, figure that the force in the form of arrow moves away, no, away, directed away from each other. So that indicates force of repulsion. 
So next we have, according to Colo, the electric force for charges at rest has following properties. Like charges repel each other, unlike charges attract. Okay. So, ano ang importance ng uh, law of interaction? So, you take note that the forces that hold atoms together in a molecule or in a solid crystal lattice, the adhesive force of glue, the force associated with surface tension, all of these are electrical in nature. So, arising from the electrical forces between the charged particles and the interacting atoms. So, that's the... Uh, Application for the law of electrostatics. Okay, so additional figure to understand uh, what we have mentioned a while ago. We have Q1, negative Q1 and negative Q2. Then we have force, vector force, sub 2 on 1. So, ito yung force na i-exert ng Q2 on 1 and force on Q1 on 2. Similar to 2, positive charge, charges repel. Sa baba, we have positive and negative charges. And this indicates that Q1 would attract Q2 or Q2 would uh, be attracted by Q1. So we have the Coulomb's law in honor of oh, the ang, ang unit ng charge is Coulomb that, uh, that was in honor of the Charles, of the scientist Charles Augustine de Coulomb. At sa kamay Coulomb's law siya. Ito yung statement. So the magnitude of the force of interaction between two point charges is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So this force, computation of force between charges can be attractive or repulsive depending on the sign, no? And it is extremely large so in fact, the force between two objects, each having a mass of only one gram, is large enough to hold the entire planet in orbit around this alien star. So this force sounds very different from anything you have encountered before, but it already exists in the Earth. It is the electric force between two charged objects. Now, uh, the statement of law, uh, Coulomb's law, yes, uh, given in mathematical formula. So we have force is equal to k q1 times q2 all over r squared. Now, as you can see at the lower part, we have epsilon, Greek letter epsilon out or epsilon sub o, equivalent to 8.85 times 10 to negative 12 column square per newton times meter square. This constant is called permittivity of free space. Okay. When we substitute epsilon sub O in the, the K, in K equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon sub O, the result would be approximately 9 times 10 to the power of 9. Where 9 times 10 to the power of 9 newton meter square over column square is the constant that will be uh, using in the computation of electric force. Now, so you take nine times 10 to the power of nine as value of constant K. Okay, so we have this one. We have a representation of Q1 and Q2 or charges one, charges two. Take note that Q1 and Q2 are a measure this from center to center, yung distance. No? Okay. 
Perhaps this classification of materials according to its ability to allow the flow of charge. So may mga tinatawag tayo na conductors. So let us define what is a conductor. I believe alam niyo ito. So it allows the flow of charge and consists of more electrons. More free electrons. It has low resistance to the flow of current. There is resistance but low. Some of metals are conductors, metals like copper, aluminum, silver, and many more. Silver is a perfect conductor, but we don't use silver in our wirings due to silver is expensive. So mostly in our wirings, we, have, we use copper. Okay, so... Next is semiconductor. By the way, ang conductor, makikita ninyo yan sa periodic table, yung mostly sa metal side. No? Well, semiconductor, makikita niyo ito between, nandun sa boundary ng metal and then metal, up and down, no? semiconductor, meaning semi-metals. So its property is in between of insulator and conductor. So all of the transistors, diodes, ICs or integrated circuits, etc. used in modern electronics are built using a range of semiconductors. It conducts a little bit, it will carry electric charge current, but not as easily as conductor. Silicon is a good example of semiconductor. Okay, next term is insulator. Glass, most plastics, rubber, and wood, specifically dry wood, are all examples of insulators. Papers, no? So these materials which refuse to carry an electric current, they are used as insulating materials to prevent shorting together or giving an electric shock. That is why uh, sa mga wirings merong coat, coating. No? Usually made of uh, plastics, no? rubber plastics. That's to prevent uh, shorting together. Preventing short circuits. Okay, next is superconductor. So they are artificially made. They are exist in laboratory setting by controlling temperature and pressure. They have zero resistance to flow to the flow of current. So, ito yung apat na classification of materials according to its ability to flow, to allow the flow of charges. Okay, next thing is to identify ways that objects that can be, objects can be uh, charged or electrified. Ways that an object can be charged. Okay. Commonly, we have charging by friction. Charging by friction. So this is done by uh, uh, rubbing one material with another. So say plastic ruler with a piece of paper towel, electrons have tendency to be transferred from one material to the other. For example, rubbing glass with silk or saran wrap generally leaves with glass with a positive charge. Rubbing PVC rod with four generally gives the rod a negative charge. Okay, commonly, uh, kung nasa mirror kayo, sa umaga, when you comb your hair, when you comb your dry hair, specifically dry, so notice na after uh, after or uh, after mag magcomb kayo ng magsuplay, notice na pag dry yung hair, mag stick yan doon sa comb. So that is one example of charging by friction, friction between a comb and your hair. Okay. So next is the charging by conduction. This is useful for charging metals and other conductors. If a charged object touches a conductor, some charge will be transferred between the object and the conductor, charging the conductor with the same sign as the charge of the object. 
Okay. So, dito tayo sa figure. Okay. In diagram I, we have a neutral metal sphere. A metal, metal ball rests upon an insulating platform. So, metal ito and then insulator. So, there would be no passage of electric charges in this part. No? So, in diagram II, we have an aluminum, aluminum material, a charged, positively charged aluminum plate that is touched to the metal sphere. Again, initially, neutral ito. Balance yung plus and minus charges sa metal. And then, it would get in touch with the aluminum, positively charged aluminum. So what will happen next? Electrons are drawn off the sphere and onto the aluminum plate. So in diagram II, the aluminum plate has less excess positive charge and the metal sphere now has an excess of positive charge. Now, some of the electrons in the aluminum transferred to the neutral metal, leaving the neutral metal positively charged. So, yan ang charging by conduction. Okay. Another, you take note that whatever charge, whatever uh, charge yung uh, material na i ipakondak ninyo dun sa neutral material, pareho, pareho, dahil puro excess. No? So, plus ito, leaving plus the second material. So, let us see kung ano ang difference ng charging by induction. What is charging by induction in a way? So, charging by induction also useful for charging metals and other conductors. Again, a charge object is used. Ano ang charge object natin dito? The ebonite rod. But this time, it is only brought close to the conductor. So, similar uh, condition before doon sa con uh, charging by conduction na uh, we have a metal sphere rest on an insulated stand. So, walang magpass na electric charge dito na portion. Neutral. No? Tapos, ito yung ebonite rod, negatively charged, brought near the neutral metal sphere. Okay. Once na i, uh, ipa dalhin natin itong negative ebonite rod near the neutral metal sphere, mag-accumulate yung positive, char positive charge ng material kung saan nandoon ang negatively charged rod. Like this one. Okay. But uh, once na i-coconnect natin ito dito sa second end ng uh, second end ng metal sphere, meron tayong grounding wire connected to the ground. Bababa yung mga negative charges, leaving the metal sphere positively charged. Okay. So, you take note na kung ano man ang charge ng metal rod, ang not charge ng neutral is the opposite. So, negative man ito, ito positive. Yung kanina sa conduction, kung positive man yung charge object, ang yung ma-charge na object, neutral object, also same sign sa charge object. Okay? So, yan ang charging by induction. Okay, dito tayo sa application. Okay, so check na natin kung may nakuha kayo doon sa lesson. We have an iron atom with 26 protons in its nucleus. Merong 26 protons ang iron sa nucleus. Now, how many electrons does this atom contain? Okay, wala sinasabi na at ion ito, meaning neutral. So, pag neutral, balance ang protons at saka number of electrons. Since 26, then 26 din sa electron. 
correct. 26 pa rin. Sabi na Isaiah. Okay. How many electrons does the Fe3 plus ion contain? Diba, pag sabihin natin na neutral, balance yung pro number of protons with number of electrons. Now, ang pwedeng matransfer ang electrons. Hindi pwedeng tanggalin ninyo si protons kasi nasa central part yun ng atom. No? Si electron lang nakuhaan ang 26 ng 3 electrons. So, na-transfer doon sa other atom. So, since na minus na ito ng 3 electrons due to transfer of electrons, then we have 23 electrons left. Giving our uh, ion as Fe3+. Plus. Okay. So, 3 plus indicates that 3 protons exist. Sobra na 3 protons dahil may na-transfer na tatlo. Pag 3 plus, ibig sabihin minus sa electron. Yes. What if meron tayo... Uh, like uh, CL negative. What do you think? Kung meron tayong CL negative, ang ibig sabihin niyan, si chlorine nakareceive ng isang electron. So meaning, sa neutral atom, madagdagan ng isang electron sa neutral atom. Okay, so negative charge na po yung CL after makareceive ng one electron from other atom. Specifically like say Na. No? Okay, so let's move to the next. Okay, grab your hair with a balloon. Why your hair sticks up? Okay, similar ito sa sabi ko kanina, yung magsupply, no? So initially, hair and balloon are both neutral. Rubber balloon takes negative charges from the hair. So balloon becomes negatively charged and hair becomes positively charged. Since hair is positive and unlike charges attract, hair sticks up. Or hair is attracted to the balloon. Okay, next. We have this problem solving. This is just a very simple problem solving in under columns law. Okay. So, what is the magnitude and direction of the force on a charge of 4, positive 4, negative 9 to negative 9 column or positive 4 nano column and C? That is 5 cm from charge of positive 5, negative 8 charge column. Okay, so actually, when I gave, uh, when I, in an ordinary classroom, pag magbibigay ako ng problem, ilalagay ko yung answer para hanapin na lang ni student yung solution. Pero in our case, bigay na sa inyo lahat. Okay, so first thing pag merong problem is that you identify what are given and ask in the problem. So halimbawa, positive for negative 9 column. So, ano ito? So, since walang label, so you label this as Q1. Okay. Next is 5 cm. Of course, 5 cm is distance. So, that is R in the formula. So, 5 cm, of course, you automatically convert that to meter. So, why meter? Kasi nasa, nasa constant natin yung meter. So, once you use cm, kailangan i-convert yan. Ha? So, take note, dapat kung naka-nano column, mag-express niyo to, to column. Ha? Okay. Another thing, another given is 5 to negative 8 column. So, you label this as Q2. Okay. So, next is to recall the columns, the formula. F is equal to K, Q1, Q2, all over R squared. And then, plug in all uh, values. Find what is asked, the force, 
No? So, plug in ninyo, K is 9 to the power of 9 with units. Next, Q1 is positive 4 to negative 9 column. Next is 5, positive 5, negative 8 column. And then, distance is square of 0 0.05. Now, use your calculator. Kasi pag wala kayong calculator, wala kayong ma-practice-practice-an, mahirap. No? So, in every physics virtual class, I would like you to bring with you your scientific calculator. No? Okay. So, the answer after multiplying and dividing by distance is 7.2 to negative 4 newtons. This answers magnitude of the force. And away from 5 to negative 8 column answers direction of the force. Or it could also be, the direction could also be stated as away from positive 4 to negative 9 column. Tama pa rin yun. Uh, na ba to? Ma'am, yung nasa bracket ba muna uunahin? Okay. Uh, actually, multiplication na ito. Pwede ito isunod-sunod mo. Una si 9, sunod si 4. With, with, uh, with prefixes, no? So, 9 to the 9. 4 to negative 9. 8 to negative 8. Mga power, by the way, ito ha, na, na bago kasi na superscript ito. Like 9. This is negative 9. This is negative 8. No? Tapos, i-divide ninyo ng square ng distance. K is constant. Ito. Ito yung value ng K, constant. Now, huwag niyo kalimutan ito. This is part of uh, the solution ng mga problems. Especially involving charges. Okay, so kuha ninyo. Okay, move tayo sa next. Okay, so what if you are given multiple charges? Yung kanina, uh, solution yun sa dalawang charges only. Now, pag merong maraming charges, ibig sabihin maraming forces, all you have to do is to recall the, superpos the superposition principle, which states that all uh, that for all linear forces, the total force is a vector sum of individual forces. Kumbaga, you need to recall your uh, physics one, yung topic na vector quantity. Vector sum, resultant vector, ganun. Na, recall ninyo yun. Now, if you are given several or multiple charges, that also uh, consider na maraming forces. So all you have to do, kung two-dimensional, you get the sum up of forces along the x, the sum up forces along the y, and you take the resultant vector or vector sum. Or kung nasa z pa, so summation forces along the x, summation forces along the y, summation forces along the z. And you take the resultant of that. No? So, kailangan na i-recall ninyo yung superposition principle. Kung marami ng charges. So, another check your understanding. Ano answer niyo dito? Write your answer. Do sa chat box. Neutral atom. There are more of which charge? Neutral. The answer is, of course, letter C. I correct. Next. Repulsive force exists between of which two particles? Ano sabot ninyo? Okay, repulsive, meaning repel, meaning same charges. So, we have two 
electrons could not be two neutrons because neutral but ang neutrons and the rest one positive other negative so there is attraction no hindi pwede ang b c only ha kasi si si b two neutrons man ano pala ang charge ni neutrons Hmm, okay. The charge of neutron is neutral. Zero, no? Sigan. Okay. Next. In an atom, what are the negative charges called? And what are they found? Where are they found? Brother. Ano answer niyo dyan? Ang tawag ng negative charge. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. A. No? Electrons found in the outside of the nucleus. Next. How is the electric force between two charges affected when both of the charges are cut in half? Meaning Q1, pinate. Si Q2, hate. So, what will happen? I would like you to write your solution in a piece of paper, but not now. So, using columns law. Yeah? So, uh, effect of uh, cutting half the charges. Ano ang effect ng electric force? So, the answer is letter. Letter D. No? As I have said a while ago, you need a piece of paper and ball pen to prove that the answer is letter D. Okay. Next, which of the particles are attracted to each other? Attracted to each other? It is letter. Na answer niyo letter C. Okay, C po. Okay. Next, according to Coulomb's law, the amount of electric charge depends on which two things. Electric force. I mean, depends on which two things. A, B, C, or D. No answer niyo dyan. Ano mga factors that would affect the electric force? C. Okay, C. Ano pala si C? Charge. We are talking always of charge in this uh, topic. Add these stats. So, yan ang factors that would affect the amount of electric force in the interaction of two or more electric charges. Okay. We have the lesson summary. Okay. Electric charge is like mass. which is basic property of matter carried by some elementary particles that governs how the particles are affected by an electric field or magnetic field. The two kinds are... Positive and negative, let's say positive carried by protons, negative carried by electrons. Or positive excess protons, negative excess electrons. The letter symbol for charge is capital Q for, to denote net charge and small q for point charges. And the unit of charge is column. And take note that all charges in nature occur in multiples of Plus and minus 1.6 to negative 19 column. Recall this uh, This magnitude is the charge of a single proton or a single electron. Next is principle of conservation of charge. It states that the net electric charge in an isolated system always remains constant. And then, 
basic law of electrostatics, charges of the same sign repel each other. Charges of opposite sign attract each other. Atomic structure, the central part of an atom consists of protons and neutrons called nucleus. Outer part of the nucleus are number of electrons in different subshells. When an at a neutral atom gains electron, the result is a negative ion. And when a neutral atom loses or donate electrons, the resulting is a positive ion or cation. It's a negative anion. So take note that an ion is a charge, atom, or molecule. Hmm. Classification of materials according to its ability to allow flow of charge. We have conductor. So keyword of conductor allows the flow of charge and consists of more free electrons. Semiconductor, its property is in the, between an insulator and a conductor. Insulators are materials which refuse to carry an electric charge, electric current. A superconductor, this is uh, zero resistance to the flow of current. Okay, three ways that an object can be electrified or charged. Yes, charging by friction. Second is charging by conduction. And third is charging by induction. Okay, so that's all for today. I would like to say thank you so much for your interest to attend this virtual class.